Hello guys and welcome back to episode 3 of our Project Cars career mode and things are on the way up. Last result, back to back wins and a little flip just to show how happy we were. We thought we'd barrel roll through the second event. Um, let us jump to today's race. Let's just knock the difficulty up as well because why the hell not? We won the last two races, we're feeling confident. I have only stepped up a little bit. Um, and we'll just tweak it through the first maybe half a dozen races. Hopefully at that point we'll have um, we'll have the measure of the game and the balance set right for some close wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. Um, hopefully not as close as race two from the last episode, but we shall see what we can do today. This should be interesting because I haven't raced this track at all. The first event and the second event I had at least raced before filming. I have no idea on circuit layout at all here. We are just going to have to wing it for the first few laps and see what we can do. Wee, Weavy weavy. Ah, it's still a bit of fun. Dirty track. Oof. Just feeling the wheel just pulling against us. I said in episode one, I mean, I've got the uh, Thrustmasters, is it the T5, T500 RS Thrust Force back wheel? And I'll tell you, it is worth every penny when you play it on cars um, or on project cars um, just getting lazy there just didn't want to say the first word it's late um, yeah I mean the, 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 the wheel is so much better on here than it is on Formula 1 oh hello we want some wheel to wheel action As second place just has a look and I think you'll probably have another little look possibly up here no nope. Just not quite having the exit speed to get a look. We did go terrible into that corner and another corner. So I do still think there's room to tweak up, hey, tweak up the difficulty a little bit. Albeit we are not pulling away at the rate we were in the previous event. Need to get a bit more gutsy and a bit braver on them curbs, but not having a massive lead over second, I am just wary to not push the limits too much and risk spinning it out back in just losing it a little bit there but fortunately the corner being the way it was didn't lose us too much too much time Ooh. as I say them corners are unforgiving Dropping us down a second, just getting it wrong a little bit. Just try and get it round. Rather have taken that a little bit tighter and just shut the inside off. I think we were lucky not to lose the lead actually into that last corner. Certainly that sort of S section is costing us a lot of time on the lap. I think there's a lot of time to be gained there. Ooh, get back on the get back on the black stuff. we 
we go, just holding it off. Need to really be on the, the ball for this last lap because, I mean, there's sort of all of us here in the top sort of three, four positions. Really a mistake at this point and everyone's going to go gunning past us. But out of the last corner, good gap to seconds and we take another victory. But definitely a lot, a lot closer at the back, at the back of the front there. Um, I mean, less than a second splitting us at the end. So I think we're certainly getting close, possibly to a good difficulty. Um, and it was the teammate what I was fighting, so that's a good sign. But we are running a. Like we're, we're certainly running away a little bit with the championship which we like there we go so with the rolling start seem to actually always get just pipped off the start from the guy in second but Getting it straight back from him. Oh, a nice bit of glare from the sun. Teammates just taken third. So it'd be nice if we can, uh, if we, ooh, wobbly wobbly, if we can pull another one two out of the bag. Really messing up the final sector of the lap there. Not really the start we wanted, but we're still holding on to the lead, so... Trying to hold a fair bit of speed through the messes and get a bit braver without putting too much and losing the back end as I've shown I can do in this car a hell of a lot. But moving up the series is guys, I mean obviously from here the next is the slightly more powerful go-karts but it will be it will be go-karts and from there there's a few potential options um, I'm not entirely sure how it how it works through the, whether I get the choice or I'm just given maybe a contract offer from one or two of them or just one of them um, I'm gonna have to find that out if there is an option for me to pick which route up the tiers I want to make um, then I will leave that that ball in your guys' courts. You know, if you want us to go down sort of GT, you know, doing GT cars, the LMPs. Oh, I just try to give it a bit too much beans to hold or to get back the lead, and that's cost us dearly. Banging a teammate out, that's not gonna that's not gonna do us any favours with the team. Um yes, as I was saying, so if it is a case of it's just my choice where I wanna go, then it is your choice guys. You let me know what route you want us to take and we will take it. Oh, what is going on this race? Just stuck on the grass. Really struggling to get it back onto the tarmac. Nothing else. I desperately want to get this back onto the podium. Three laps to do it, so we need three good laps. Three seconds behind, third place now. Uh, 
should have just been a bit more calm and collected when we lost the lead. Trying to just push it a little bit too much. And it could very well have cost us the podium position. Entirely sure if we're closing the gap or not. I think we are, but nowhere near at the rate that we really need to if we want to get back onto the podium. We're definitely going to need a good final lap. Oh. That may that may be the mistake that has just cost us from just grabbing it back. And it has, ah, oh, what a bummer. Silly mistake and then a little, little twitch in that last lap. I think if we hadn't have had that, then we probably could have snuck back onto the podium. But with the fastest lap, that puts us in second for the race result. Not horrifically bad. Um, but it certainly could have been better but that's it a three race series nice and short simple sweet and champion of the series which is good um, three wins so yeah um, that is the cart one champion ship over and done with. It would have been nice to have to have finished the season on a on on the podium at least, but having sort of well considering the fact that I have only just rebought project cars, um, I'm happy with that. Um, we'll tweak the difficulty up a little bit more. I mean, it's um, it's not exactly low at the moment. Uh, Hi there Rob, we'd like to invite you to come and participate in the Glencan Kart Club Trophy on behalf of Galileo. The event starts on the 3rd of the 11th, or possibly the 11th of the 3rd. Depends whether it's UK dates or American. Anyway, great to have you behind the wheel representing our team. Hope to see you soon, John Manson. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. I don't want to do that. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, let's go back into career mode. Sorry, I don't know what happened there, why I quit out of it. But yeah, so three episodes in and a title to boot. So happy dappy days. Okay, let's just go back to end the episode. So yeah, guys, as ever, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. A little bit more action-packed with racing rather than incidences we were relatively crash free um, or at least not to the uh, to the drama that we had in the last event um, so as ever guys I hope you have enjoyed it please hit that like button hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel out it helps us grow and keeps you up to date with all that we do uh, follow us on Twitter at 1S Gaming and at 1S Gaming Extra on Facebook at 1S Gaming Official and online at www.1SGaming.co.uk Cheers guys, bye bye!